Is that the best Premiere Pro color grading plugin that you can find on the market right now that can give you this fume look with a click of a button? Well, I don't know yet and I guess we are bound to find that later in this video. But first, let's see what the answer is. The answer is a fume emulator slash plugin for DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, which comes at a price of $399 or with other words, 400 bucks and it will give you access to 63 photographic and movie films accessible with one click of a button. It also includes tools such as bloom effects, halation effects and film grain effects which I will explain in more detail later in this video. And for the record, this is not a sponsored video. The people from the Hanser reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try the plugin and I said yes. So they gave me a free month trial to try it and share my opinion with you guys. So without wasting more time, let's get on with it. For the first example, I'm gonna use the intro of this video and show you how I simply calibrate it. So I will go to effects and type the Hanser, find the plugin, grab it and drop it over the video. And then as you can see straight away that changed the look of the video and then I'll go to the effect control panel where the enhancer is and from here you've got all these options that you can use. But first I'll go to film grain and disable it and then the next thing I'll do is go to film and also disable it and the only thing that I will use in this case is the input and from source you can change the rec 709 to choose camera and now from camera we've got the option to choose from all these cameras available inside the plugin and in my case I recorded this video on Canon M50 Mark II but they don't have it so it's gonna be M50 Neutro and it looks already really good but I can do a few adjustments the first one will be from the exposure and I'll increase it to 0 0.3 Three. Also, I'm going to increase the temperature to put a little bit of color in my face because it was looking so pale. And also, I'm going to increase the tint a bit like that. Oh, it looks amazing. So let me just turn it off and turn it on. The difference is just crazy. And then the next thing I will do is go to Bloom and enable this effect. And probably you barely can see it but as you can see now my face is growing a little bit and i will increase the impact so you can see it a bit better and now when i disable it and enable it just look at the lights at the back and you can see the difference it gives you this dreamy look bloom look and that's what the effect calls a bloom and there's a first example of how simple could be color grading with the enhancer plugin in the next example, I will use a different video. This time, I would like to give this footage a fume look. So again, I'm going to apply the enhancer over the video. And this time, I'm going to use the fume grain because we want this fume look. From fume, also, I'm going to change the Kodak Vision 3 to Kodak Super 100. And also, I will go back to input and choose a camera to DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. So I'm going to select it. And this makes the footage much, much better. Then I'm gonna play around a little bit with that. I'm gonna decrease the temperature so we can have a blue sky. And then also I'm gonna increase the tint and then I'll leave it as it is. Then I will go to the film grain and from here it's already enabled. Also, you can change the size, the amount, film resolution, mid-tones, highlights. Basically, you can change everything with the grains, but I like it that way and I'm gonna leave it as default. Next, I will go to the so famous halation effect, which I didn't know what the heck is that. So basically, this effect will give you a red outlines around the objects in the video and I will show you what it does. So I'm going to enable it and also click onto the mask mode and increase the impact, increase the global diffusion. Now, as you can see, all these areas will be impacted by this effect. So I'm going to disable the mask and now the effect is enable and I'll disable it. Enable, disable. So you can see the difference. It's kind of boosting your red colors in the video. And the next thing I'll do is go to Bloom and enable it. Wow. Now it looks so good, honestly. So now let's see the difference with and without. That's without and that's with the effect. Wow, man. It looks 
incredible. So if you want to give it a go, you can use the promo code in the description down below, which is my name. So when you go to the checkout, put my name and this is going to give you 10% off if you want to buy the plugin. And if even if you don't want to buy it, they're going to give you a seven day free trial. So if you like it, you can buy it. If you don't like it, you're not going to buy it. It's simple as that. And now back to the question, is that the best Premiere Pro color grading plugin? Personally, I think it is based on my own experience because it's very straightforward and very easy to use. Probably in the beginning, it might be a little bit overwhelming but once you get used to it it will be so easy to color grade your footage of course there is things that they could improve for example this plugin is a little bit too heavy for the video card and the processor so in that case you must have a very powerful laptop but if you don't have a powerful laptop then it will be a problem to use this plugin and the second thing that they could work on is the menu they can simplify it a little bit because sometimes it could be a little bit overwhelming but the part that the plugin it's great you pay once and you can use it for a lifetime so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did so smash that like button and subscribe to my channel also if you want to see more premiere pro videos feel free to go to my channel and watch more videos Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.